Hi boys and girls, it's Queen Bee from Honey Bee Toys, and today we're gonna make some super fun Shopkins inspired lip balm or lip gloss. And there's a lot of ways to make lip gloss, so I'm gonna show you some really simple ways, or even you don't have to make it yourself, but you can use these season five shopping containers to make a really fun craft. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off, I actually have one where I put coconut oil and a little beeswax into a container and it's just one part coconut oil to one part beeswax and I'm gonna add a little Kool-Aid into this mixture. So you can use whatever flavor and this is just gives it a little color and a little nice scent. So I have so many flavors of Kool-Aid, but let's see, let's try this. Um, I'm gonna try this lemon one. I think this is lemonade. I can't remember because I use this only for crafts and I cut off the top, so. I think it's lemonade because there's all these lemons on it. And then this is the sugar-free Kool-Aid. You can also use uh, Crystal Light if you have that. But I'm just gonna put a little in. Oh my goodness, that's a lot in. And I'm gonna get a little toothpick and then stir it. So I actually um, took the, bees, uh, the beeswax and I melted it a little. And then I put a little Shopkin in there. You can do that. You can leave your Shopkin in there or not. You, when it dries, it dries uh, very opaque, which means that you can't really see through it. So the Shopkin is just like a cute little surprise inside. Not, you won't be able to see it. It doesn't dry clear. So just, just to let you know. I'm just gonna keep mixing it up and then let it harden. Okay, so that's one lip balm and I'm gonna let that dry and you'll see the results of that. So that's my coconut oil one. Another thing you can use is Vaseline. So this is just Vaseline that I have. I'm actually gonna take my Shopkin out and I'm just gonna put it in and mix it with some Kool-Aid. So I'm just gonna take it take it from the back of the spoon here. Just grab a big cloth and then you're just gonna fill it up. Well, and what flavor should we use? I think grape would be delicious. It smells so good, this grape Kool-Aid. This is no sugar in it, so. You're just gonna, oh my gosh, I love the smell. And then you're just gonna put some in, just a little bit. You just wanna get the scent and the color. And then you're just gonna mash it and mix it. And you can see the color is already changing there. To, and this one, it takes a little more time to, for it to dissolve because there's not really that much water in Kool-Aid. So sometimes you have to actually wait for a couple of days before it fully dissolves. So you're just gonna keep mixing it. And it is gritty, but I have one that I'm gonna show you where I made some fun lip balm already. And you cannot, um, it doesn't feel gritty anymore. So that's one, and then it, you may, I'm gonna clean that up because it does look really messy. So this is a lip balm I made out of polymer clay, and you can see there, that's my blue lip balm. So that's one, another way to make lip balm. So this is really simple, and then you just want to wait for this to settle. So I'm gonna put some more in and then clean it up so it'll settle and looks pretty. And I don't know if I'm gonna stick my Shopkin in there. Oh, she actually fell in there because it'll be hard because the Vaseline isn't that solid, so it may just float around. So. Now that's another way is not to make lip balm, but I actually have some, another way is I actually have some Olaf lip gloss, but I actually lost the little uh, container, the little um, cap for my lip gloss. So I've been just keeping it around, but you can just fill your existing lip gloss into these Shopkins containers like that. And then you can wait a little for it to settle and then now you have a little Shopkin lip gloss container. I'm gonna tap it a little, just to let it settle. And then if you wanted to leave your Shopkin in there, but it's in something like this, you can take a little hot glue or super glue and glue it to the bottom of your container. Otherwise, your Shopkin will just be floating around. So there is my other Shopkin lip gloss. Now let me fix this and I'll be right back. So I actually mixed that up a little better um, I took it out of the container and I heated it up with a little bit of coconut oil to make it a little more dissolve faster. So you could do that too. And I'm gonna stick this one in the fridge. And I already stuck my coconut oil one in the fridge so that it will cool and then we're gonna come back and see it. And I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna stick my lippy lips in there and see it'll there. So I'll be right back. So all of my lip balms have dried and cooled. So this is my Vaseline one with just a little bit of coconut oil. And it is a little gritty, but it smells so good from the grape there and I really love the scent. You can see that this one is my coconut oil and my beeswax one and this one actually turns out the best texture because it's, it's very hard but you can see that it is you can't see my Katie skateboard anymore from my uh from my lip balm but this one tastes great too because it has that little coconut flavor and the little lime flavor so it's like coconut lime lip balm but once you get to the bottom you'll be able to see Katie's skateboard. I really like this but beeswax is a little hard to find so um if you don't have it you can just use the Vaseline one or 
the easiest way is just to find existing lip gloss and put it into a little container like this. You just want to make sure your lip gloss isn't too liquidy or else it will seep out because these are not airtight. But that is my Olaf lip gloss transferred into my little Shopkins container. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's time for a joke. What did Daisy Duck say when she bought her lipstick? Put it on my bill. <laughs> okay, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for my big Shopkins giveaway. Thank you, and bye now.